Hi, Anthony Navarro here with Colorado Shooting Sports. I would like to talk to you about um, classes, like firearms classes that you guys are looking at taking, um, CCW classes, tank pistol classes. People take these classes for a bunch of different reasons, and there's a lot of people out there that take them simply to get the piece of paper that allows them to go forth and, and get the card that says uh, they're allowed to carry a concealed weapon. And I'll just kind of start off by saying um, I have mixed feelings about that because on one hand, um, I don't think that anybody should tell you that you can't carry a gun. Um, kind of like Arizona and some other states, you don't even have to get a permit, you just carry it. Um, however, we live in the Walmart era of America where people just want it cheap and they want it fast and they don't want to do anything for it. They want to take the path of least resistance and basically... They don't really care where their bullets go. They just want to carry a gun. So we're going to define a couple of terms right now. And the first term that I'd like to talk to you guys about is value. Okay, so I'm going to, it's almost going to seem like I'm giving a really bad impersonation of Ross Perot here with my charts and my, you know, all that kind of stuff. But anyways, value, um, and this is a subjective thing. Um, when I go and I buy something, um, I don't necessarily look at the price first. I look at the warranty and then I look at the product and the last thing I look at is price. And the reason I do that is not because I'm made out of money, it's because I've always seen through my entire life that something that is quality has always made me happy. And wanting to buy something that's like a Glock is not gonna make me happy because it's always gonna fail and you're gonna be thinking in the back of your head, I should have bought a Glock. Or same thing with certain other types of guns or cars or you name it. It's the value is determined by the end purchaser. So if somebody's willing to spend $5,000 on a computer, on a laptop computer, that's great. If they can afford it, that's great. And, uh, and I'm not one to, to bash anybody for that because if you can afford it, that's what you want, that's what you should buy. If you want to buy a knife that's $300, I know a lot of $300 knives that I, that I pay for. Uh, I've seen a lot of $500 knives that I wouldn't. So it's again, it's, it's subjective, personal preference, and I think that everybody else should just kind of stay out of that. So um, when somebody comes and takes a class or they buy a gun or they buy a car, what I find kind of interesting is that sometimes people are out there giving compliments on a product and then in a weird kind of way, almost trashing it at the same time. So I want people to be kind of careful about how they talk to other people about the things that they buy. So take, for example, if somebody takes our class, and they're like, oh man, it was awesome. I've never shot better in my life. I understand the, the legal aspects and the medical stuff and all that, but man, it's kind of pricey. Those two things don't make sense because how can you sit there and say that something was incredible, but it's pricey, okay? So, or if you buy a portion, you love the portion, and then you come back five seconds later and say, oh man, but it was $160,000, again, that, that almost is kind of a slap in your own face. You should just see the value for what it is and take the money out of it. The next thing I'd like to define is actual cost, something that is more tangible, okay? So cost, and let me go ahead and blacken that in there. And so there's a lot of people that will call us up and they'll say, hey, I see you have this out-of-state uh, instructor coming in and they're $700 or they're $500 or your class is $200. That's too much when the guy down the road is doing it for $25 bucks or $50. Bucks. And, and um, what I have to bite, say about that is you can look at this cost in two different ways. And I'll just make it simple. Now and later. So if you take the $50 class and three months after you get your permit, you pull your gun out and you shoot somebody and they didn't need to be shot because your class didn't cover the legal aspects of where, when, and how to use lethal force, then, um, then that really cheap $50 class is going to cost you about $50,000 to retain an attorney to pull your ass out of jail because you were too damn cheap. That's the way I look at that, okay? 
Here's how I look at it for students to take our class or other, um, I think, credible instructors that are out there nationally, is if you're taking a class like ours, it's like about 200 bucks, or some of the other ones that run about 500 to 700 or whatever the case might be. I, I even know some out there that are pretty good that are about 2,000. That's going to mean for me, the later on part is going to mean that because I followed the rules legally, because I trained and I was proficient, I, would, I shouldn't say proficient, I was extremely good with my handgun, and I put the bullets where I wanted to, so I didn't hit innocent people, then my costs later on might be zero. Or it might be in the lower couple of thousand, because let's face it, you're going to get arrested, and you're going to have to prove your innocence. So um, I look at it this way. I would rather pay now and put in the time and effort physically with the training, put my money up front first and get good training than to pay later on. And again, I understand now that uh, Americans, all we really care about is we want it cheap and we want it now. But I, I see that there's still a lot of people out there that do care. And that's why I tend to say that our students, the ones that we see in class and take our tactical pistol class, tend to be on the more um, selfless side. They tend to be more intelligent. They tend to be more respectful. And so um, we love having you guys and keep coming out. So let's break this down uh, Ross Perot style again into uh, the cost per hour. Because I'll talk to people that come in and they'll say, um, yeah, I take a class that cost me, let's say um, $50 for a class. And another guy will come in and say, oh, I only paid 90 for my class. Or let's say 120. And then I'll ask, how long was your class? Oh man, it was one hour. And this guy right here, maybe it's a two hour class. And this guy, maybe it's a three hour class. So here's our cost. Our class is 225 bucks. And it's listed as an eight-hour class. But ask any of our alumni. Go on our uh, Facebook page and ask. Just throw the question out there. Alumni of Colorado Shooting Sports, how long was your class? And this is the answer you're probably going to hear. Our class is, is listed as an eight-hour class. But we typically run about 10 hours. And I would say every couple of months we run about 12 hours. I mean, literally, we are out there for half of a day. So let's take a look at actual costs now. That means that this guy right here paid 50 bucks for one hour. You break our class down and let's just say the norm, which it is the norm, is about 10 hours. That means you got me for about $22.50. So think about that for a minute when you're saying, when you walk in here and you complain about the cost of our class, keep in mind there are other classes out there, as I mentioned earlier, that are 500 bucks, 700 bucks, $2,000, national classes that are out there. And we regularly have our students take those classes and come back and say, I learned more of your one 10 hour class than I learned in the five day class at Gunsight. And then you factor in travel costs and ammunition and shipping your ammo and all this other stuff. And it starts to look pretty attractive now. So, but here's where it actually gets better because the Colorado Shooting Sports, once you become an alumni, alumni, we ask you guys, we send you emails, we put you on a newsletter, we get on Facebook, and we offer you free classes every month. Free classes. Who else is doing that? So I'll give you an example of some of the free classes that we do. Um, we do a class called After the Fight, which deals with um, PTSD and uh, uh, the legal aspects in more in-depth uh, on what happens after your fight, how to win that legal fight. Um, we have a um, free kids class. All children of alumni can come and take that for free. We have one called uh, Active Shooter, where we talk about how to prepare your kids and yourself for violence in the workplace, how to deal with that kind of stuff. Uh, and, the, and the list goes on and on. You can actually look on our, on our Facebook page and on our website and see all the different free classes that we offer. So let's, let's just take a look at this. Imagine that you take, um, let's say there's 12 free classes in a year. There's actually more than that. But let's say 
schedule per meeting, you can only take six. Then you start taking this number right here, that 2250, and divide it up against six more classes. And in all reality, that means you're actually playing closer, paying closer to about $2.50. So again, the value and the cost, when you actually put this all together, it actually starts to look more attractive. And the $50 and the $90 one hour, two hour BS classes, I like to call them certificate classes because all they do is generate pieces of paper. And you're not helping anybody when you're out there being selfish and when you think to yourself, this is my gun to protect myself and screw everybody else. That is selfish. I want my students to be selfless and to think this pistol is to defend me and my family and to defend everybody else in here who is an innocent person. That is a selfless person. That's what we teach. And if you're not getting that type of positive uh, winning mindset in your class, you need to start looking elsewhere. Another thing to think about too is that our class is a money back guarantee class. It always has been. If you don't like the class, that's for your money back. Get out there and ask your, your other schools out there, if I don't like the class, can I ask for my money back? And then, and then state it this way, if I don't like your class for any reason, can I ask for my money back? And I'd be happy to hear what the responses are from you guys because it's probably going to be no. Okay. So here's one more thing I'll say about those classes that, that don't show you how to shoot, that don't talk about the legal aspects, that don't prepare you for the, the physical gunfight, the legal fight, the civil suit, the after effects of a gunfight. What they're basically doing is they're teaching you how to use a hammer. Their gun is a hammer. And they're teaching you that if all they teach you to do for an hour, let's say you actually, they actually do shoot, and all they do is teach you how to shoot for an hour or two. All they're teaching you to do is to look at every problem out there as if it needs a bullet. Okay? And 99% of the time, the problem doesn't need a bullet. Avoidance, deterrence, de-escalation, staying out of the fight, being aware of your surroundings, not having to shoot your gun, you win that gunfight. It's not glamorous. It's not sexy. You didn't get to pull your gun out. Big freaking deal. You won that gunfight by avoiding the gunfight and staying out of the fight. But all these other classes do is generate a pile of people with these, these CCW permits that make you think you should start going to the wrong side of town, that you should, should start being arrogant to people in public. Be calm, be relaxed, be professional, be polite, and avoid those fights because every time you do that, you win a gunfight. So with that said, I, uh, I would like you all to uh, give us a call here at Colorado Shooting Sports, 970-395-0664. Visit us on the web at coloradoshootingsports.com and visit us on Facebook. We'd love to answer questions for you there and you get to see pictures and videos of all the classes in action. And... Um, and again, the classes are the center hub of everything we do here at Colorado Shooting Sports. It determines what types of guns we sell, what types of holsters we sell. Everything spurs off of our tactical pistol class. And I think you'll appreciate why, because almost every other gun store that I see in this area is filled with nothing but gun guys. We're talking former law enforcement, former competitive whatever type of pistol shooters, and they have a very limited scope of what you need to do to protect yourself as a civilian before, during, and after a gunfight. Thank you very much. Have a great day.